Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of my playthrough of The Beast Within, a Gabriel Knight mystery. So, I can just sneak a little hour of gameplay in here tonight. I've just been down training. So, uh, I thought just relax a little bit with uh, with some nice adventure gaming. Um, before we start, a little, uh, a little recap of what happened in the last episode. So, um, Gabriel is getting, uh, is getting closer to... Um, to what's going on, he has um, uh, first of all, um, he has um, gotten a, a, at least a promise that the police will see him, and he's also been in the club uh, during the day to investigate what's going on. Uh, also, Grace has arrived and has uh, very forcefully taken over the research. She is not very happy with uh, Gerda. There's some definitely some some jealousy playing in there. She's pretty sure that uh, that they have an affair, um, but she is then uh, starting to do the research on werewolf, finding out a lot of things that she sends to uh, to Gabriel. Gabriel is not particularly happy about Grace being in Germany, but the fact that she's maybe going to look into uh, Ludwig and Neuschwanstein serves him very right, very ah, serves him well because that means that she'll just be kept busy with something that he thinks is just a wild goose chase. We left Gabriel when he was actually inside the club during the day. And that's where we're gonna start today's today's episode. And here was just some magazines that he didn't really care to read as far as I remember. Yeah. Huh. It's in German. Oh yeah, it's in German. Of course. But it's also very correct. Everything in Germany is very much in German. I don't think I should get too comfy around here. No? Dead things. Gotta love them. Lots of them. Let's see what face have we got here. That's just from another angle. Oh, that's the bar. And I thought Germans only drank beer. And I thought Germans only drank beer. Well, a lot of them drank beer the other night in the club, that's for sure. But I can also testament to the fact that there are also other drinks being drank in Germany. Okay, what have we here? Nice plant. There's a nice plant. Okay, so this just leads to nowhere, really. And there's a door here. Easy to miss. And also very Locked. Hard. Okay. Nothing much to do here, no? Let's just head out. I think I've pumped that particular well dry. For now. The police won't let me do any investigating at the crime scene. I'll have to wait and talk to Leva. Yeah. Go to the police station. Eventually and talk to him should be... We actually should write Grace. I'd give it a shot, but I don't speak the language. Um, let's go and see if this, our good friend the lawyer has anything to say. Ah, uh, Gabriel, come in. Hey, Harry. Herr Knight and Herr Übergrau has been exchanged to Gabriel and Harry. I don't have anything else to say, right? No, nothing to say. And this is Grace's letter, yes? Yeah. Okay, let's just... Yeah, I'm off. See you, Harry. Goodbye. 
Yeah, ever since I was there the last time, that orb on the desk has just been in the absolute correct position. Every time. Let's take the U-Bahn. And actually, let me see if I think it's a good idea to actually uh, go and, um, and write a letter to Grace to say, yeah, look into, uh, look into Ludwig. I'd better make sure Gracie keeps busy. Elsewhere. Just head out again. We're just skipping. I was the hoping for a Mercedes. Skipping the animations here that we have seen, or animations, clips. I mean, he's looking at his key. Here I have the keys. Then he walks. No need to see that again. Let's see if we can go to the. No, let, let's post the letter and then go to Prinzenregentenplatz for, for the police. So teleporting to the other end of Marienplatz. <laughs> Post office. You can go in, it's not dangerous. That's taken care of. Yeah. Is it so dramatic every time you need to post a letter? I'd give it a shot, but I don't speak the language. It is nice that they have random people in the city this game. It does give a little bit of life to it, even though this game looks dated. Okay, let's look at Let's see. We can get a talk to Commissar Liban. Yes, and the music, police officer. Police music from the first Gabriel Man game as well. Commissar Lieber, so generous of you to see me. Sit down. You will tell me what you think you know about this case, yes? How do you say, uh, quid pro quo in German? There is no translation! <laughs> Thanks so much for your time. Sit down! What are you proposing, exactly? You want information? I want information. It's, uh, kind of convenient that way. I can't give you police information. <laughs> Why not? I'm not asking for anything confidential. Hell, I can't even read the damn newspapers around here. Press release stuff, that's all I want. All right. But then it's your turn. Agreed? I hear you. Yeah. If you did not know, quit, quit pro crow means something for something. Uh, so, um, yeah, that was not really explained, but I guess also that was obvious from the conversation they had. All right, so... Uh, At least he's neater than Detective Mosley. <laughs> yeah, uh, Prof uh, Detective Mosley, his f detective friend from back in New Orleans, was... Uh, yeah, uh, was, was quite messy. Okay, let's talk to him. How long have you been a commissar? Ten years. All of them here in Munich? Yes. And a criminal commissar is like, what, a police detective in America? 
Americans don't have so many ranks, I think. A German criminal commissar is uh, more like an English chief inspector. Ah, P.D. James. What? Uh, nothing. All right. Tell me about the other victims. What do you want to know? How many victims have there been? Five, including the one downtown. Could there be bodies out there that you haven't found yet? No. <laughs> the killings have been done in broad daylight. Body parts left like a trail of board criminal. Breadcrumbs? Jack the Ripper Wolf. <laughs> when were the other victims killed? The first was 32 days ago. Hmm. Two days after the zoo wolves escaped. Uh, and the others? The two teenage boys were killed 20 days ago. The Huber girl, six days ago. They're speeding up. Maybe. Mm-hmm. What about the locations of the killings? Uh, any pattern there? You can see for yourself if you like. I have a marked map on the wall. Until last night, the killer always struck 30 to 40 minutes outside the city. The first was killed north of München near Esching. The two males were killed in Feldkirchen, that's east. Tony Huber was killed on her parents' farm just west of Lachan. <laughs> Maybe we can get that map, that would be nice. What does forensic say about the killer? That information is not for the press. <sighs> but the bite mark, saliva, you've seen the bodies, I haven't. All I can say is, it is an animal. Hmm. Mind if I take a guess? Your boys in the lab say the bite marks are canine and are closer to wolf than to dog. But beyond that, they can't pin it down. Uh, nothing like it on the records. Probably a weird hybrid. Yeah. That's what I thought. Let's try to ask if he's considered werewolfery. He does not strike me as the type that's into that kind of spook. Have you... Uh, have you given any thought at all uh, about the possibility of... Thought? A werewolf? Never mind. Yeah, that was right. The killer isn't one of the zoo wolves, is it? That is information the press does not have, Mr. Knight. I expect it to stay that way. I understand. As you pointed out so loudly at the crime scene, evidence on the killer does not match what we know of the zoo wolves. Yeah. So what are your thoughts about that? Either there is a mistake with the zoo records. I think the zoo would know if they had a reddish-brown hybrid in the wolf kennel. I didn't say it was likely. Another possibility is, of course, that another animal is responsible. Wild? Possibly. Maybe. A pet. Mm -hmm. A pet? As in maybe the reason you haven't been able to track the thing is that it's going into someone's home. It's possible. You keep saying an animal. You found evidence of only one animal? One bite pattern, one saliva type? Yes. Yet two wolves escaped from the zoo. 
As you say, the zoo wolves do not figure into this at all. Oh, I wouldn't say that. No, I definitely would not say that. Yeah, very probably they were stolen from the zoo to, as a cover. Let's hear about the downtown killing. Tell me about the latest victim. Male, 52, Grossberg was the name. He was a furrier. Ironic, isn't it? A furrier? <laughs> what an amazing coincidence. Have any theories about why the killer struck downtown this time? No. Do you? I read somewhere that uh, wolves are clean animals. They don't kill close to their lair unless they're forced to. But lair? What are you talking about? I'm not sure, actually. Random thought. Okay, the black wolf. Have you ever heard of anyone or anything called the Black Wolf? The hell samples we have are all reddish-brown. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, I was just wondering if you'd heard of a Black Wolf in general. Hold on. this what missing persons case a runaway teenage girl it happened in 1989 in a town called Kirschel in the Nationalpark Bayerische Wald Bavarian National Forest uh -huh. oh, I just thought I remembered something it was a sad case you know she was very pretty ah yes here it is what there was a supposed witness an old lady who lived on the edge of town near the woods. She says she saw the girl go into the woods the night she disappeared, says the wolf got her. The wolf? The old lady had been complaining for some time about a huge black wolf in the woods, but no one believed her. She was varooped. Crazy. Uh, no one else ever saw the thing? Hadn't been any wolves in those woods for 50 years. So there was... Probably nothing to it. That's what I thought at the time. Of course, that was years before this case. Never heard of wolf attacks back then. <laughs> Do you get a lot of missing persons cases in Germany? Oh, sure. Mostly teenagers, runaways. It gets worse all the time. Families are not like they used to be, yes? Suppose not. <laughs> That's all I wanted to know. Good. We discuss you now, yes? I guess. You want to tell me, or do I have to ask? I'm investigating the murder of Tony Uba for her parents. Why? I'm an investigator. That's what I do. <laughs> You're an American P.I.? You could say that. And how did the Hubers end up hiring you? Mutual friends. I see. And this evidence you have? A paw print and some hair samples from the Yuba farm. I spoke with some folks at the zoo as well. All right, Mr. Knight. 
I don't know how the police deal with you in America, but in this country, we don't like civilian interference. I understand. If you hear something, you come to me. If you see something, you come to me. And under no circumstances are you to speak with the press. You do. And I'll have your passport. Well, you wouldn't like it. It was a bad hair day. <laughs> I am quite serious. I swear, not a word. All right. I can't stop you from investigating. But stay out of our way. Quiet as a shadow. That's me. I don't have any more questions for the Commissar. Yeah, but let's look at this map. This map, it marks the locations of all the wolf killings, right? Yes. Hmm. What? The one last night, the, the one in the middle, it doesn't really fit, does it? It has to fit. It happened. I suppose. So the twins and Lochem, and then there is one more up here. I still say that one in the middle is different. I still say that one in the middle is different. Okay, but can we maybe write it down? No. Hmm. Okay, then we just... I still... Yeah, 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 yeah. The one in the middle is different. Oh, yeah. Grossberg. Didn't Liebe say that was the name of the guy who was killed last night? Mm. Very discreet. Okay. At least he's neater than Detective Mosley. Probably nothing of interest back there. Besides, I can't see past a commissar's big head. I don't have any more questions for the Commissar. Nope. It's maybe... I'm not sure why I... Well, the... The report? I'm not sure why I'd want to show him that. Okay, he doesn't care about that anymore. Lithanthrope book. I'm not sure why I'd... No. Uh, the other book. I'm not sure... Then we have the Hunten, the Yachtschine, letter from Grace, letter from the lawyer, car keys. No, I guess we have nothing else to say here. I'm gonna take off. Stay out of trouble. Of course. Let's go to the zoo. 
or maybe there was something about it that was not in today. Klingman's office is locked. Yeah. And that's not really interesting. I don't need to do anything else at the lab. No. But we can go to this place. We want to see the address. We 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 um, wrote down. Let's have a look at it. Grossberg's ah. phone number. Phone number. Very well. Lock him. We have a phone. And into the house. There we go. That's a very, very old phone. Hello? Hello. My name is Knight. I'm an American associate of Herr Grossberg's. Yes. I was just calling the people in Herr Grossberg's address book to notify them. Have you heard that Herr Grossberg has... Yes, I, I know about his death. Yes, I'm sorry. Would you mind giving me your name again so I can check you off the list? Uh, Knight. Ella Hoffman. I'm not finding you. Could you check under Vaughn? It's Vaughn Knight. Oh, so, yes, Vaughn. Von Eigner, von Frank, von Stein. You're not under Vaughn either. Excuse me, did you say Von Agner? Yes. Do you know Von Agner? I don't know him. I don't know most of Grossberg's business contacts. Grossberg knew him. If this is about money, you're out of luck. All the accounts are locked until someone comes in and takes over. Besides, there's nothing in them anyway. Really? Well, could you just look up an account balance for me? I can't. The address book is all I have. The police have taken her Kosberg's ledgers. Oh. Well. Thank you. Goodbye. Magna, that was one of the guys from the club. And the police has the letters. Let's pay the club a visit again, shall we? I was... Oh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. It's the car keys. Else he will not go into the car. And he also needs to look at them. Oh, there are the keys. Okay. Uh, the club. Oh. It would help if I go to Marienplatz instead of Talkier. the club. I think I've pumped that particular well dry. Okay. That wouldn't impress this guy. No. Let's go to the... Uh to the police station. The police station is closed. Oh. Let's go and have a talk to our lawyer then and see if maybe he can... Uh Shed some light on this Van Eichner business. Oh, someone is at the club. I should maybe have walked in while I was there. I can do that afterwards. Yes, hello, Harry. You mentioned the possibility of my using your secretary for research? No, Any time. Great. I wouldn't ask, but I need a newspaper search done, and my German sucks. <laughs> no problem. What exactly are you looking for? Missing persons. Actually, missing persons cases that occurred in or near forested areas. Uh, how far back do you want to go? Ten years. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I can spare her later in the day. Uh, we should have it ready for you by tomorrow. Great. Thanks.
That is very, very efficient. I don't have any. Nope. Yeah. I'm off. See you, Harry. See you, Harry. Let's see if someone is at the club. I think. Yeah, no. And I thought Germans only drank beer. Nice. It just leads to a back alley. It won't do much good to keep trying, at it? I think I've pumped that particular well dry. Yeah. I th yes. Now I have apparently. Hello. Grüß Gott. Grüß Gott. Authentic Black Forest Cuckoo Clock. Maybe. Oh. Authentic Black Forest Cuckoo Clock. Maybe Gracie would like one for her shop redecoration. Cute. Yeah, well, there is some. Um, there is in there uh, this uh, sound thing, you know, to, to, to wake up. You, you know, in the morning. Uh, an alarm clock. Yeah, yeah, alarm clock. Yeah, richtig. Yeah. How much is it? Wie viel? 60 marks. Let's buy it. I'll take that woodpecker clock. 60 marks, bitte. I think we and uh, you're about to be witness to one of the yet another one of the really 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 That's all right. I'll take it as it is. Danke schön. Bitte. One of these really illogical illogical puzzles of this game. Maybe I'm again a little bit too fast because I remember this puzzle. Because once I've done this one time, it's just hard to forget because it's so weird. So I'll not now go out back with my new cuckoo clock. And I will put it into the plant. Yeah, you put the cuckoo clock into the plant. Because it had a very peculiar sound. I think I've pumped that particular well dry. And now we'll wait. Somebody's at the door. I can hear. Let's look at some records then.
Okay, gut da. Keys. No, so not the records. Everything all right? Everything is fine, Herr Knight. <laughs> well, let's go in the back. Use our newfound key on the door. <clears throat> yeah, put the cuckoo clock in the plant. I have nothing else to add. And also because there was no real intent to it. It was not that, oh, I really need to get him away so I can get the key or something like that. The, yeah, really hard. I should probably return those keys first before Xavier notices that. Yeah, okay. Then do it one more time. making this game buzz what about that we put this puzzle in where we put the cuckoo clock into the plant to get the receptionist away and then do it once again just to get him away again Möchte wissen wer das ist Everything all right? Everything is fine, Herr Knight. I say it in the same way as I did before. Okay. Well, well, well. I guess that... This club has a dark side as well. Oof. Aren't some of these endangered species? Yes, they are. Aren't some of these endangered species? Fun cell, fun glover. Fun Aren't some of these? Yes. Just a guess, but I don't think this stuff has much to do with hunt. Von Agner Henneman. I met them all last night. I wonder what these figures mean. Rice. Take notes. Rice. Photos of the club hunts. Looks like Von Glauer and Von Zell monopolized the camera. Or the hunts. Photos of... White tigers and stuff like that, these are definitely... Mr. Knight? Hey. This room is for Memphis. Only. Oh, sorry. The door was open. I'll go up. Wait! I'd better make sure you do not take another unexpected detour. Af 
after you. Such a happy guy. Xaver! Xaver, kommen Sie! Ja, Baron von Zell? I found the basement door unlocked and her night below. Perhaps you could keep a better eye on the keys in the future. I will, Baron von Zell. So we're not going to talk about all the illegal, illegal hunting in, uh, in the basement. Should I remove the cuckoo clock? Should I get incriminated? Okay, and then maybe let's have a chat with Mr. Fonsell. May I speak with you, Baron Fonsell? Yes? What is it? Are you happy today, Fonsell? So, uh, what do you do for a living, Baron Fonsell? For a living? My family is in banking, Herr Knight. What do you do for a living? Me? I'm a writer. A writer? How aggressive of you. <laughs> Very aggressive. I take it you're particularly fond of hunting. Uh, I noticed the photographs downstairs. Uh, you and the Baron sure do get around. We are the best? You may find that out for yourself someday. Oh, I'm anxious for us to hit the field. Uh, I have a feeling there's a lot I could learn from you. You may find yourself more challenged than you can imagine. True. I don't get in as much practice as I'd like, and hunting's like any other sport. The more you do it, the better you get. Bullshit. Hunting is a matter of the spirit, of will. So it is. Ugh. However, heaven could see that von Glover and I have had more practice than the others in the club. We used to hunt together quite a bit. Used to? You don't hunt together anymore? No, not often. Hmm. And why is that? Are you and Von Glauer too busy to hunt much these days, or have you all fallen out? I suppose I've simply outgrown him. Really? In what way? You wouldn't understand. Oh. Okay. How about tell me about the other club members? I have a better idea. Why don't you tell me about yourself? Like what? For example, why are you in Munich? Oh, uh, I'm just vacationing and thought I'd stop by on my way through. Really? And where are you staying in Munich? Outside of town a ways. Which suburb? I'm on a farm, actually. And you know, I, I don't remember the name of the area. Probably couldn't pronounce it anyway. <laughs> yes. Quite curious for someone with a supposedly high Germanic background. Yep. I guess going out and making your mark on the rest of the world will do that to a family line. <laughs> yeah, a little bit suspicious, I understand. But so is Club he. seems to be an exciting place. Do you all travel much uh, as a group? No. Well, really? You don't hunt abroad? We are all very busy men. <laughs> No, oh, isn't that odd? Okay. So, uh, how do you like the club? A night. If you wish to learn about the club, you should keep your mouth shut and observe. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, the Black Wolf. Have you ever heard of the Black Wolf? No. Or has he? You mentioned that y'all don't go on hunting trips abroad? We do not. But those trophies in the basement, uh, do y'all really have white tigers in Germany or lions? The majority of what the club hunts are far more common species here night. The trophies in the basement are exceptions, and they were obtained quite legally. Oh, you misunderstand me, Baron von I think not. In any case, the basement is not public territory, and its contents are, therefore, none of your concern. Uh, of course, I, I do apologize. As a guest of this club, the why you are a guest of this club is a mystery to me. <laughs> but as a guest, perhaps you should limit your prowling and sniffing to areas which you are offered openly by those who belong here. You're so right. <laughs> And that marks the end of episode four. Thank you so much for um, joining us. It actually ends where it began, in the club alone. But uh, we will see what uh, what else we can figure out uh, next time around. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.